watching Tell me who's watching Who's watching me Um, I, we, I've lived in the district my entire life My family's lived here for four generations uh, I went the, through the public school system I come from a union household My dad was a teacher here He was a community activist uh, he died when I was 12 years old, and my mom had to raise three kids on her own. I had to work myself uh, through college, uh, went on to work in the private sector. Um, now I'm finishing my master's in business at NYU. Um, and I'm running because, out of frustration because I believe that um, I have the skills necessary to uh, cut waste in Albany, uh, to generate revenue, to work with budgets, and to really, most importantly, bring honesty and integrity back to the most dysfunctional state legislature in the entire nation. Uh, a couple of the things I'm fighting for is ethics reform. And there's something called discretionary funds. Now, that money is to be used for projects in our community. And what a lot of the state senators do is they take that money and they put it into nonprofit organizations. And then they hire their friends and their family to work there, uh, who make uh, you know very large uh, salaries, courtesy of the taxpayers. Uh, the money's not coming back to where it's supposed to be going. And what I'm proposing is transparency. So making the amount of money uh, known, how much money we get for the district, available online and available through mailers, and then having the community, the taxpayers. Uh, all of us decide what projects we feel that money should be going towards. Because right now, it's going to nonprofit organizations again that the state senators are running, and it's not coming back to projects. When they tell you, oh, we don't have money for this, we don't have money for that, that's not completely true, because we do get money for the district, and it's not going where it should be. A couple of the other things that I've been talking about um, are, you know, we've had increases in crime rates. Um, we need more, uh, you know, we need more funding for uh, our police departments. Um, we also need uh, neighborhood watch programs. Uh, that's something that affects the community. That's something that I've been working with the National Sheriff's Association to, uh, to create and to come up with a plan to have hubs throughout the district. Uh, that are in communication with each other, and they would work in conjunction with local law enforcement. It's um, they, they're basically patrols that are you know they're just people walking around patrolling the neighborhood. They're unarmed, um, and they just add another front to uh, the fight against crime, uh, deterring people from entering. A lot of the problem is a lot of people from other communities are coming in uh, to our communities and committing crimes here. So this would really be a deterrent. Uh, other things that I've been talking about are taxes. Um, I am the only candidate who signed a pledge that I would never uh, uh, vote for and would oppose any increases in taxes. Um, you know, uh, that's something that's very important. Uh, and uh, the, some of the other issues that I've been talking about are um, reduction in, uh, for home repairs and restorations, I want uh, a tax break. Uh, you know, we're in a time of a difficult economy, and there are a lot of people that need to repair their homes. Um, not only is it good, um, uh, not only is it helpful to people, it increases your property value, um, and it, it provides work for people, um, and, you know, it, it's just all around a good thing. So, um, with this tax repair for home repairs and restoration, I'm also talking about initiatives to reduce energy costs um, through green initiatives. Um, we can outfit homes at no cost to homeowners uh, to actually reduce your energy costs. So that's another thing. Um, you know, there, there's really just, there's so many things to talk about. I'll answer any questions uh, about any issues if anybody has them. But I just want to let everybody know that, you know, I have been fighting uh, to remain on the ballot. I am no one's puppet. You know, the problems in Albany really transcend party lines. There is corruption, and it does not discriminate. It is the Democratic Party. It is the Republican Party. It's all of them. Uh, you know, and I, I, I can promise you that I will fight for the people of this community. I will be completely transparent. I will do my heart. I will try my hardest to pass ethics reform. And uh, I've signed pledges for ethics reform, responsible budgeting, independent redistricting. Um, and, you know, I'm really, I haven't taken a dime from special interests. 
I'm really here to fight for the people. Um, I hope that you will join me on November 2nd and throw the bums out. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Mike Yes. I have a question. What's your last name again? DeSanto. D-I-S-A-N-T-O. DeSanto. Yeah. Who are you running against? I'm running for state senate against Marty Gold. Right, right. You know, I'm on the Democratic line, but as I said, I'm willing to work with everyone. Um, I don't have the support of the Democratic Party. I don't have the support of the Republican Party. I don't have support of anybody. Do you have the signatures? Uh, yeah, I'm on the ballot. Oh, you're on the ballot. Yeah, they tried to knock me off, but I went. I made sure that I went door to door, block by block, um, and so they weren't able to knock me off the ballot. Um, you know, if anything, this is a democracy. This is America. Everybody has a right to run for office in this country, and when they keep people from running, when they knock you off the ballot, you know, you realize that we're not living. Uh, in a democracy that we're really living in something of a dictatorship. Um, now, if anything, you know, I'm, I'm trying to send a message. I want regular people to start standing up and taking our country back and running for office because we have entrenched incumbents that don't allow you to do that. And it's a huge problem in our country. Um, and, you know, it's one of the things that I will be fighting for um, with reform, reform of the process. We don't need just the wealthy, we, and, and be well connected to run for office. All right, regular people should be allowed to run and, and fight for our communities, and that is what I am committed to. What, what, what qualifies you, if you don't mind my asking? Absolutely. What, what's your... um, you know, I'm finishing my master's in business. I've worked in the private sector, and I believe that I've gained the skills, skills to cut waste in Albany skills to generate revenue and deal with budgets. I've also been very active in the community here. Um, you know, I, I, my family is teachers here, small business owners. They, uh, I have family that owns the Gourmet Grill uh, in Mill Basin. Um, and, and so I've been experienced with dealing with community issues. I've worked with the American Cancer Society. I work with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. I work with the Alzheimer's Disease Research Center and a program called Clown Care, which uh, brings the circus to terminally ill children in hospitals in their final weeks and brings them a little bit of happiness. Uh, so I've been very active and involved in community issues. But no other political office. No other political office. I am not a career politician. No. I didn't set out to do this, but it just called me. Uh, I'm just so frustrated with what's going on in our government, and it just called me, and I said, I have to take a stand and do this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. In the private sector. Yeah. With what companies and in what capacity? Yeah. Right. Um, I actually worked with the Big Apple Circus, which is a nonprofit organization that runs the Clown Care program. Um, I was a marketing coordinator there. Uh, I then went on to work at Coca Cola, and I was a brand manager there. So it's basically all been in marketing, in business, but really in the new way of running things. And that's really having accountability for the money that you're spending on a budget. You know, that's what they teach us at NYU. You have to show accountability. You just can't spend money left and right. So it's really about measurement and making sure that your money is being utilized to the best way that it can. And that's something that I feel that I can bring to Albany. We need to cut that waste. We need to have a lean government and, and programs that are functioning for the people. And, you know, those are all things that I've learned in my experience. Um, in, and also in my school experience, I'm going to take that to Albany and I'm going to make sure that we create a functioning government that's working for the taxpayers of our community. Alright, next All right. up is back. Thank you. I'd like to introduce... I'm just an average man.